Welcome back to the mix. Storytelling has always been a crucial link between past and present in our communities. And that tradition is perhaps best maintained in the North. Our next guest grew up in Yellowknife, and he's developed a unique musical narrative approach. Here's Pat Braden. After all, the buffalo have been slaughtered. After all, the circle has been broken. Pat, thanks for coming to work with us on the mix. It was really great to uh, see you perform last night. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, where are you from? Who are your relations? I live at Yellowknife Northwest Territories. I've gone through the first, like, two-thirds of my life not knowing that I have Métis blood in me, but um, through a series of events sort of figured out that my grandmother, who uh, I was born in Roston, Saskatchewan, and my, grandf my grandmother had actually come from the Red River District and sort of did a, a genealogical study there, and uh, between me and my sisters were sort of working on that even some more to, okay. to, to, to figure that one out. Roston is near Batash. I mean, that's, that's a Métis homeland right there, that area. Very much so. After all, the hollow words blow away with the wind. My grandfather lived there, both After of my parents' parents, and they talk about working with and just being a part of the Aboriginal community, the Batash community that way, and Prince Albert and stuff like that. Right. After all, the nations have been broken. So how old were you when your family landed in Yellowknife? Three. Oh, so you were. 1964. You were raised up there. Yeah, no, it's home. You're a northerner. Yeah. Wait a minute now. What's that sound? Is that someone playing a guitar? Who's playing that guitar? Oh, there he is. It's the guy with the slick back hair and the Roy Orbison shades on. How about musically? What are what are your relations? Who are you related to musically? My mom has played church organ mm -hmm. for, for many, many years. Wanted to play drums first, so they, they got me this beat up old set of drums, and she and I'd go out and do gigs together around town and stuff, so that was a very cool start. So you started in the rhythm section? Yeah, started in the rhythm section. It was probably a really good place to start, for sure. It was, it was in the drums, and sort of carried that as far as I could through junior high school. In a smoky Legion club room On a Saturday night I saw him standing on a stage with a smile on his face. When I started playing bass in the high school, I was right away, I was playing concert music, I was playing big band music. And then later on, sort of hooked up with some older musicians that were probably about twice my age in town. And instead of them flying their bass player up from Edmonton or Montreal, they just sort of worked with me. Okay. And I ended up, from the time I was 15, playing in the bars. being down in Vancouver and sort of being chewed up and spit out in Vancouver and, and just realizing that songwriters are the guys who make the dough, right? <laughs> you know, that's where it comes from. It's calling Archie. They're calling Archie, yeah. They're calling Archie. Come on and play. I didn't want to go with a guitar or a keyboard. I just wanted to go and do something totally different, so like just go left field with it, you know? Ended up taking a, a, a seminar down in Connecticut for about a week. You just go down, eat, breathe, sleep, ship, Chapman stick, right? <laughs> All the time, right? So. They're calling RJ. And then the sound sort of started to formulate in my head. Okay, here's what I can do with this thing. One more song. Okay, very quick stick lesson. Called a Chapman stick named after the fellow in California who invented it in the late 1960s, early 1970s. <clears throat> Anyways, this is one of the first basic ones he made. 
uh, as far as design goes, and it's got 10 strings on it. Five guitar strings and five bass strings on a plank, sort of like 10 strings on a two by four with a pickup. <laughs> and uh, the, the guitar, for, for, for all of you uh, experts out there, um, the guitar is, uh, is, is tuned in fourths all the way across, there's no third, but the bass is actually tuned in fifths, like a cello, I believe, is tuned in fifths. How, how did the storytelling aspect of your performance evolve? I'd been telling bedtime stories to my kids for, for, for years. And after uh, telling them lots of stories, I, I, I thought I had maybe three or four that were really good. At that time, there were some releases coming out where they would have a, a very recognizable voices coming out and telling these, these myths or fables, and then they would have like a really rich orchestration happening behind it. Right. So I sort of ran on that concept. Now in the day, a white man and a Dene woman would have been frowned upon. Yeah, sure, there'd been others who had coupled up over the years, but you know, it seemed they paid the price in isolation from their own. Yeah, the white folks, they stayed pretty much to themselves, as did the yellow knives. But he found he could not stay away. It just became very obvious that there was an opportunity and there was some doors ready to be opened if, if I was to explore this and to put it together into a whole show. Touch her dark skin so soft and warm Smell of sweet grass in her hair Taste the juices of a long Give all that we can share. Are you still playing bass? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been playing bass for like 30 years now. I've had to work really hard to be a sort of a front person and to, to um, carry that off on stage. But he found he could not stay away. He came to spend many nights in her tent just on the edge of town trembling in her arms. Sometimes he'd drift out of a dream to see her leaning in close to the fire, some tobacco in her hand. Hey, 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 the context that you were providing for your songs in your performance really spoke to me of the storytelling tradition of the North that you're obviously a part of. I am now, as a storyteller, uh, and the storytelling tradition of it, I've had a ton of respect for. Far beyond the heart and mind. I'm just telling my own personal stories that way. Thunder starts to roll, when lightning starts to fall. When raven hair comes to call. Thank you so much for listening. You have a great weekend. Thank you. Well, it was great to, uh, to, to witness your performance. Thanks, Pat, for joining us here on the mix at the Harrison Festival of the Arts in Harrison, BC.